Good morning, everyone. My name is Grio Horat, and welcome to today's updates in video format. Uh, so, as you know, door is finally turning to the downside. Uh, we have been anticipating this move for a while based on a um, uh, corrective structure to the upside on dollar index and also somehow slow price uh, decline on euro dollar towards uh, those summer lows. So, uh, recent levels were rejected. And what we see now is quite encouraging price action, which may lead to even more uh, dollar weakness in upcoming days. So firstly, if we take a look on dollar index, what I think it's very important, even from basic technical analysis, is that market has recently um, just moved below this trend line support connected from uh, September 21st low. So it looks like that we are headed even lower. And um, the reason why I think we can see even accelerating price action to the downside is the following. So notice that if I connect this channel here, okay, and you will see that in this channel, let me zoom this in, that in this channel prices are now trading below this lower trend line. Of this channel parallel line okay so normally this indicates that market is accelerating to the downside rather than slowing down because if you are tracking if you would assume that this will be just a temporary ABC decline okay then what you would want to see is that market will actually be slowing down in this final third leg and normally reverse from the lower side of this trend line but if you see market accelerating to the downside and rather than bouncing, uh, bouncing back to the upside, you see this breakout, then normally this is a sign that we are in a wave 3 rather than wave C. So I would not be surprised if we see even lower prices from here and ideally um, market will actually form this wave C decline back to the levels that were seen uh, in September actually. Uh, looking at the intraday hourly chart, as you know, I was looking for more weakness since we have seen this breakout that I just talked about and looks like that we are on the short term charts. Uh, I would assume that we are now in wave 3, okay? So expecting a bounce, maybe a rejection will come from that uh, resistance area, uh, sorry, resistance line. Uh, but notice that this can be seen as a minor. Uh, just let me know this. As a minor five waves of decline. Okay, so uh, maybe a reversal is coming later today. Now it's also very important to understand that if you are seeing very strong move in the um, at the start of trading day. Okay, then normally this moves may slow in the second part of a trading day because um, there are very rare days when you see from open to the close in one piece just one sharp move okay of course this is possible but based on Elliott wave perspective based on this minor five waves of decline I would not be surprised if market will just stabilize a little make a new turn to the upside for a new pullback and then turn even lower after a bounce uh, so looking at the euro dollar of course here, what I also see is prices in a way free. Uh, now we are moving towards this very nice resi resistance at 1.15 uh, level. I was looking for this level, maybe that could be triggered already last week. Uh, we have seen a delay in this price action. Uh, but what is really important is that still direction is here uh, and that likely we will see even more upside. As you know, I have been also highlighting this 200 weekly moving average for a while. Uh, we have seen a nice reversal candlesticks, a candlestick pattern last week. So obviously this is driving the euro dollar to even higher prices after also some kind of divergence here on the RSI. So euro dollar expecting more upside, but watch out for a pullback uh, in fourth waves, uh, which could be actually maybe opportunity for you to join this trend. Invalidation level for now is at 1.1363 because once we will see prices turning down for a wave four, we know that market must not trade into this uh, into this uh, region. Uh, also, here you can see that market is now uh, trading above this <coughs> ABC. Uh, actually, this is the correct approach. Okay, 
is trading above this ABC uh, resistance line so it looks like that we are headed even higher but as I said this uh, swing high here could provide some resistance and maybe cause even this way for pullback um, now let's take a look on uh, dollar cat now <clears throat> dollar cat was uh, quite clear recently we have seen a nice move to the upside and uh, of course uh, as you know we were bullish but I was uh, turning immediately bearish after recognizing these five waves of decline because rather than focusing my bias and uh, I want to respect what the market is doing and if I see five waves of decline I will not say yes we're going st still to the upside I will listen to the price action and adjust my views so obviously uh, I have been turning immediately bearish on dollar cat after recognize these five waves of decline also uh, this ABC setback I highlighted yesterday with intraday updates that 1.32 level could be very interesting resistance area and so far we are falling nicely or turning nicely to the downside so watch out for this wave C of decline maybe even wave 3 who knows but for now uh, near term targets are lower I believe so this swing high from early November I believe can be retested okay uh, so uh, dollar cat <coughs> may see uh, even lower price action uh, even down to here uh, actually this 1.3 of 50 as I see right now it was a former way for swing support and here we have also uh, some interesting uh, moving average so this above is 100 daily moving average and this below is 50 so this would be quite nice area for a potential new bounce also of course a dollar cat can be coming to the downside while crude oil as I see is sitting on this 55 support so if we take a look on crude oil um, notice that actually this dollar cat uh, turned down from 1.32 uh, level I believe uh, came um, after crude oil yesterday made this small spike and immediately turned to the upside so it looks like that we are still in a corrective way for here away from this November lows so uh, I'm tracking now flat correction so this was a free waves rally for wave A then only temporary free waves decline for wave B back to the area of uh, or starting point of wave A which is normal for flats and now what is also normal when we are tracking a flat correction is that waves A and B are slow but wave C is fast uh, so <clears throat> watch out for more upside here in wave C now ideal resistance here is at 59 up to 60 dollar now 60 is also psychological level so if we see these levels maybe it could be uh, attract uh, like a magnet but then uh, because of very important resistance and because there is still bear sentiment of crude oil I think that uh, after this uh, higher prices we may again shift to the downside so while uh, crude oil has room for more upside that's obviously means the dollar cat could really break down into that wave C um, so 59.40 up to 60 is my resistance area of course 59.40 is the first one because this was quite an extended fifth wave and sharp and in such case when you see a pullback you may not see a pullback back to the area of a former or to the termination point of a wave 4 but rather only into wave 3 uh, lows or starting point of wave 4 if you want so this is first resistance the second resistance if obviously at the wave 4 still um, so uh, next market that I want to take a look is dollar yen as you know I have been bearish on dollar yen patiently and finally we have this reversal as you know I'm also shorting this one and have been looking for this uh, ABC flat correction for a while uh, we have seen a run towards 78.6% 114 level was also very nice the resistance uh, which uh, and actually risk of mode as you can see right now stocks are coming to the downside so dollar yen is actually uh, finally coming down uh, based on uh, weakening stock market also what I really like about this that we are starting to see quite aggressive decline and we even moved uh, below this uh, bearish level so it means that wedge is completed and if wedge is completed you may see a retracement back to the starting point of a wedge and which is around these levels okay um, at October lows so ideally we are now in a big um, red wave C or blue wave C I have to adjust this uh, these levels here ideally we are in a new third leg of decline which can be actually wave E uh, that may take prices back to this 110 level okay uh, so uh, if we take a look also on stocks now of course because dollar yen is 
uh, trying to move with stocks. Uh, so what we are seeing on the S&P 500 is actually, despite very sharp recovery, bulls stopped at this resistance. We have been talking about this a lot, and we have seen also nice five waves of decline. It looks like that market is now ready to move even lower. Uh, however, I'm a little bit skeptical, not so convinced that wave two has finished already here, because again it was very sharp. Or, but what I want to say that there is still possibility that. Uh, 2760 area can be retested and then we see a reversal low. So don't be uh, surprised and don't get too excited if we see suddenly another leg to the upside. Okay. However, the primary wave can suggest that sooner or later we will see a drop and what I think may happen is a move back to these um, October levels, maybe with a spike and then a reversal higher. Okay, so stocks as you see them right now, I think that there is room for more weakness. At the same time, um, I would be expecting more upside on gold. Um, as you know, I have been turning bearish on gold from uh, 12.40. Uh, it was also, if we show on the daily chart, it was also nice resistance here connected back from uh, December 2017. And if you take a look now, uh, this decline has been only made by three waves. It was also uh, slowing down at this uh, trend line support. So. Uh, as long as the corrective channel holds, it means that correction can still be underway. So since we didn't see any decisive break to the downside, but rather reversal higher in impulsive fashion here, I think that gold is headed even higher. So actually this alternate count should be re removed. And here is this hourly chart, you can nicely see a fire wave move to the upside and ideally we are now in an intraday corrective phase. So uh, any sudden drop to 12.17, maybe 12. 15 area could be seen as a wave C of wave to flat formation. Then we see another push to the upside. Um, also, this uh, let me check this trend line. Uh, I'm really interested to see where's this trend line. Okay, so actually I should do like this. This is wave B. Okay. Mm. So actually, this trend line comes in right at 12.17. So this is quite significant if we see this pullback. But anyhow, I think that any uh, dip will be only temporary and could actually provide uh, maybe even buying opportunity. Because I think that wave E is, as I said, more complex and could be headed to the upper side of this channel if we consider that this channel is still in play and that the lower side was uh, turned to be a very good support. Um, also, uh, Keep an eye on Aussie if you're trading, um, of course, if you're trading uh, gold, uh, because as you can see, uh, market were first markets were firstly in negative correlation here back in uh, at the start of November. We have seen move down on gold, but we have seen a rally rally on Aussie. So now, when gold is also picking up, then this can be even more significant for bullish run on uh, on Aussie, which is which has been already in a. Uh, in a bullish uh, run before. So I think that more upside on gold, as we showed, uh, suggest also that even more upside on Aussie can be following, okay? Um, so watch out for Aussie. Uh, if we take a look, uh, real quick look here on Aussie for our chart, I'm still looking for tracing back in a way forward back to 7450. Um, okay, uh, now let me check if we have anything else. Uh, yes, Euro pound. Um, so the euro pound is uh, playing out very nicely actually as you know I have been looking for this triangle for a while we have seen a very nice bounce from that uh, and what is really important that we have seen a bounce in impulsive fashion back uh, to this trend line so I think that this trend line uh, will sooner or later see a decisive break and that market will move even higher however um, pullbacks always occur as you know nothing moves in straight line so what i think is going on now that we are probably slowing down for a wave five here of this five wave rise and that uh, market could actually make a deep abc setback so this support uh, of interest would be at 8820 uh, which is uh, now this should be removed because 
I cannot use the FIP if the first cycle is still not completed. Uh, but this is 8820 is the way for swing level, so this is definitely a support of my interest if we see a bounce. Uh, so if we see a pullback, but of course pullback towards this level has to be in three waves, not in one leg, because correction on our three leg uh, structures. Um, also, <coughs> if we want to take a look real quick on on uh, on Bitcoin. Uh, so uh, here we have Bitcoin. Uh, as you know, we have been looking for a break to the downside uh, into wave C of this uh, wedge pattern uh, into wave C of wave 5. So we are now uh, trading at this very important trend line. Actually, I have to admit that this is a very, very aggressive breakdown. So uh, don't get too excited uh, by a low here. Uh, you definitely, if you want to invest in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, what you want to see here and what I suggest is firstly to wait on the market to confirm your bias, to confirm a direction. Okay, so this can be seen only if we see a five-wave recovery uh, on smaller time frame of Bitcoin. And this is not the case. Okay, um, however, <clears throat> on an intraday chart, we have some kind of a five-wave drop from recent swing high here. Uh, so maybe at least uh, it will be a time for an ABC rally back to 5000, okay? But then we will see this 5000 at the formal way for will again turn into resistance for a new sell-off or we will just continue higher, maybe uh, with much better price action. Um, also, uh, if we can take a look at some alternate scenarios here, uh, maybe if we ignore the ending diagonal, then uh, what really should we should be aware that Maybe this was a very big triangle, okay, and now we are seeing a breakdown. So this was maybe wave A, this was wave B, so in such case, if this is the wave C and not final lack of an ending diagonal, then you know that there is room for much, much more weakness, okay. Uh, <clears throat> so in such case, what I would be looking at is actually I would take this distance, Okay, this is distance of the uh, widest lag within this triangle, and from if you project it from the breakup point, okay, now this is quite significant. You may see a move even back to 1,000. Okay, so uh, I'm not saying that we are going back to 1,000 dollars on Bitcoin, but what I'm saying is that market is still falling sharply, and that we haven't seen any bounce in impulsive fashion to confirm that we are going back to the upside okay so as long the market is trading significantly significantly to the downside as long as we have bearish sentiment here and as long as the structure is not saying that we have bottomed you have to be prepared always on potential extreme moves so um of course there are just uh, first super levels maybe just now but if you don't see any five waves rise but only a three wave rise then of course you should stay on a bearish track okay uh, from a timing perspective if cryptocurrencies will still be um, coming into this some maybe in a bullish phase in the future uh, i think that then maybe 2019 uh, should be a year when bottom will be formed okay uh, traders thank you very much for your attention i hope that you like uh, like this video bye